The horrific attacks on September 11, 2001 rocked my hometown and our country to their core. As a proud New Yorker, the trauma of that morning and the heartbreak that followed will never fully fade. But neither will the sense of awe I felt after watching on television so many brave men and women pulling complete strangers from the flames and wreckage, risking everything to protect us through hours and days of sheer terror. And out of the chaos and haze of 9-11 emerged the face of the America we all know, not divided, not spiteful, but full of strength and compassion, courage, and fierce unity. Nothing could divide us on that day, and indeed our shared humanity was all that mattered. Christian, Jewish, or Muslim, black, white, Asian, or Latino, gay, bi, trans, or straight, we are one people. And with strong, steady leaders in place and the courage of everyday heroes to keep us safe, there is nothing we can't accomplish together. One of those heroes is with us today, NYPD Detective Joe Sweeney. very difficult to talk about. It's just, it's hard to control that emotion, you know? On this day, in this darkest hour, when some ran to safety, they ran to danger, putting our lives before their own. But in the days that came after and the struggles that would follow, she made sure they would never stand alone. The minute those buildings came down, the iron workers and all the first responders just climbed on the pile and started looking for people. There was a gray cloud everywhere and uh, um, terrible a smell that you could taste it. It was gritty, you know. Uh. The, uh, the health department has done uh, tests and at this point is not concerned. They're telling us, oh yeah, the air's fine, don't worry about it, you know. The air is safe as far as we can tell. Anybody who was down there knew that the air wasn't clean. I mean, you could just, it was obvious. I stood there on that street. It, it was as close to hell as I've ever seen. Out of this dust and debris that was so thick, you know, were coming a lot of the rescue workers. Hillary's the first one to stand up and say, we owe it to these guys to, to make sure that the air is right. After 9-11, I said, the government didn't tell the truth. They told people that the air was safe. It wasn't safe. Hillary Clinton. She worked every day to help the families of loved ones lost rebuild their lives. Persuaded the president of a different party to provide the funds needed for a city to rebuild. Helped bring justice to one of our greatest enemies. And fought year after year to make sure some of our greatest heroes got the care they deserved. She got the hospitals on board, she got us care, and she went after the uh, EPA when they lied. One of the firefighters just said to me, he said, you know, Senator, please, please don't let anybody forget what happened here, and don't let anyone forget us. She had our back. You know, we knew that, and that's what you wanted a president. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Joe Sweeney from New York. My name is Joe Sweeney, and I served as an NYPD officer and detective for 21 years. I'm proud of every day that I serve my city and my country. But I'm, I'm especially proud that I served on our worst day. Beginning that horrible morning, we worked in the smoke and the ash to search, first for survivors, then for remains and then to begin clearing the rubble. 
police officers, firefighters, iron workers, machine operators, neighbors, and friends all joined together to help. We had a job to do, and we did our best. At the time, the EPA assured us that the air at Ground Zero was safe to breathe. That information was dead wrong. Thousands of my friends and brothers and sisters in blue were exposed to harmful toxins that have caused lifelong health problems. And when we needed someone to speak for us, to stand with us, to fight on our behalf, Hillary Clinton was there every step of the way. Within 48 hours of the towers falling, Hillary introduced a bill signed into law that helped first responders get the benefits they earned easier and faster. Then she pressured the EPA to launch a new task force and led congressional hearings until the EPA admitted that the air hadn't been safe. A lot of people moved on. They thought everything was fine. But Hillary Clinton kept in touch and kept at it. Ten years later, Hillary was still our toughest champion, making sure we still got our health benefits. I'm at this podium tonight because, like first responders across America, Senator Clinton has devoted her career to a simple creed, protect and serve. Time and again, Secretary Clinton has kept her promises, including to the extraordinary Lauren Manning. My name is Lauren Manning, and when I arrived at the World Trade Center on September 11, 2001, I was a partner at Cantor Fitzgerald. I was a wife and a mother. A moment later, I found myself in the midst of the worst peacetime attack in this nation's history. I was catastrophically burned over 82% of my body my chances of survival next to zero. I battled for months to live and for years to recover. I fought in tribute. Thank you. I fought in tribute to my friends and colleagues at Cantor Fitzgerald that I lost that day and all the 2,996 people who were killed. I fought to honor our troops who were fighting and continue to fight on the front lines for each and every one of us around the world. And I fought to return to my young son, 10 months old at the time. I fought as hard as I could so that the terrorists would not get one more. <laughs> Hillary Clinton stood with me through that fight. And in the darkest of days, and in the hardest of times, the people who show up in your life are the ones that mean everything. Hillary showed up. She walked into my hospital room and she took my bandaged hand into her own. Our connection wasn't between a senator and a constituent. It was person to person. And as a woman working in business for years, I know you had to be tough. And in that woman is a hell of a tough person. For years, for years, she visited, called, 
and continues to check in because Hillary cares. When I needed her, she was there. When our first responders needed her, she was there. When New York needed her, she was there. I trusted her when my life was on the line, and she came through. Not for the cameras, not because anyone was watching, but because that's who she is. Kind, caring, loyal. She had my back. This is the Hillary Clinton I want you to know. She was there for me, and that's why I'm with her. Thank you. Please welcome to the podium, Representative Joseph Crowley from New York. It was a beautiful day. Not a cloud in the sky. It was just after 9 a.m. and I was waiting on the one runway at LaGuardia to fly back to Washington. Then I got the news. Two planes had crashed into the World Trade Center. I raced out of the terminal. I tried calling my two cousins, both members of the New York City Fire Department. We had grown up together in working class Queens, New York. They were supposed to be off duty that day, but then the call came in. Both brothers responded, only one came home. On September 12th, I stood at what had been the World Trade Center. All that remained was smoke and ash. My cousin, Battalion Chief John Moran, was listed amongst the missing. But deep down, I knew he wasn't coming home. Neither were the other 342 missing firefighters. The weight of the loss was heavy. But there by my side was Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton, the New York Senator. Hillary Clinton, my friend. She understood the pain my family, our city, our nation were under. She fought to help our city rebuild, and she delivered. People forget, but the assistance package that was first proposed didn't have a dime, not a dime for New York. Hillary helped turn that around, securing $20 billion we needed to get New York going again. But she didn't stop there. Hundreds worked on the pile in the days after 9-11. First they came to find survivors, but eventually searched for remains. They didn't worry about their own health. They were told the air was fine, but it wasn't. And when health issues emerged years later, Hillary Clinton was still by their side. She brought families and first responders to Washington. She took them door to door, never letting her colleagues forget the consequences of that terrible day. For almost a decade, Hillary never gave up, and she was there with us when the 9-11 Health and Compensation Act was finally passed. But let me ask you something. Where was Donald Trump in the days and months and the years after 9-11? He didn't stand at the pile. He didn't lobby Congress for help. He didn't fight for the first responders. Nope. He cashed in, collecting $150,000 in federal funds intended to help small businesses recover, even though days after the attack, Trump said his properties were not affected. 
Hillary sought those funds to help local mom and pop shops set, get back on their feet. Donald Trump sought another payday for his empire. It was one of our nation's darkest days, but to Trump, it was just another chance to make a quick buck. Hillary has never and will never forget the reality of that day. And that's why she will never give up on making us a better and stronger nation. My cousin John carried with him a quote from Teddy Roosevelt. It reads in part, it is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong men stumbled or where the doer of deeds could have done better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by the dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly. My friends, this is the Hillary Clinton I know, the doer of deeds, who I've stood and worked and fought alongside. This is the Hillary Clinton I believe in, the proven fighter who has been devoted and has devoted herself to helping American families, American workers, and cops, and firefighters, and first responders, helping all Americans. And this is the Hillary Clinton I support, the one who has been in the arena, who knows what it will take to keep America safe and defeat and destroy ISIS, and has demonstrated the leadership and determination we need in our next president. My fellow Democrats, my fellow Americans, I'm with her. I'm with Hillary. Because Hillary has always, always been with us.